loves welcome back to my channel this is a lex talk video i'm going to be showing you how i get this makeup look and we're going to be talking about how to build confidence so i'm just going to start off by filling in my eyebrows with this elf pencil first i use the spoolie side to brush out my eyebrows in an upward motion and then i just fill in with the pencil side <laughs> When it comes to my brows, I like them to look very natural, so I do start off with just drawing a line at the bottom of my brows and then shading them in from the end to the front. And when I get to the front, I just make light strokes upwards to make it look like the little hairs that's in the front of my brows and then shade the rest in. Now here, I'm just going in with my concealer to clean up my brows. I like to do the bottom first and then I do the top and blend it all out. So I do like to go back in with my spoolie just to fade out the front of my eyebrows to give it more of a natural look. Now I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. primer to prime my skin before I put my foundation on. <music> Now I'm just going to go in with my foundation. This foundation is not full coverage, which I like about it because you can build it up. But I do like to just put one layer so it won't look like I have on a lot of makeup. But I just put this on all areas of my face, of course. And then I'm just going to blend it out. <laughs> Okay, now that my foundation is all blended out, I'm just going to take my concealer to make a eyeshadow base so my eyeshadows can pop just a little bit more. And I'm just blending that concealer out with my wet beauty blender. Now I'm just going to go in with this palette here and just use this light beige color to start off. It's closer to my skin color, just a little bit darker. And I'm just going to blend that out all in my crease just to create that transition shade. And then I'm gonna go in, back in with the same palette and use that darker brown. How to build confidence within yourself. So confidence is really just something you, you have, something that only you can build for yourself. So I, um, I have like three things that can help you to build confidence, which I think is very, 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 very important. So confidence really is just knowing like that you're powerful, you know, not letting nobody destroy that. Also just knowing that you're worthy of good things and just knowing yourself, period. So really, one would be to find yourself. If you don't know yourself, you allow other people to tell you who you are, tell you what you are, what you're not you know so finding yourself will be that number one thing to build your confidence because once you know you for you nobody will ever tell you nothing about yourself spend time with you you have to know what you like you know what i'm saying you have to know what you don't like 
you know like a lot of people don't like to go places by themselves or do things by themselves but sometimes you just have to do that in order to find out who you are who you truly are because you're capable of a lot of things that you don't know you're capable of because you don't spend time with yourself or you don't you know know who you are but a lot of times when you get to know you I feel like that's the first step in everything when you get to know you 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 begin to love yourself more you begin to trust yourself more you begin you know it's just like getting to know another person so find yourself first that's the number one step some things you can do is go out by yourself have some me time in your car or go out and do your nails by yourself anything that involves just you do it once you find your true self and who you really 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 are start talking positivity within yourself like every time you wake up look in the mirror and just talk positivity into yourself that will start your day off right for, for one just say positive things to yourself because you know you matter you're you matter speaking those positive affirmations to yourself every morning every day you wake up or throughout the day every time you look at yourself in the mirror or whatnot it becomes a part of you you know it's just like negative things when you speak negative things into your life it becomes you you know so just start speaking positivity when you wake up believe you are beautiful believe you are powerful oh y'all gotta excuse my voice i feel like i'm getting sick And I'm going to just pack that on my lid. But yeah, I feel like once you start saying things that are positive about yourself, you begin to believe it. <laughs> insecurities that's just nonsense those negative things that you're telling yourself you have to let those go because nine times out of ten we tell ourselves things that people has already defined us has already said about us that's not true that's where most of our insecurities come from i feel like so i would say to just let all of that go Forget what people say about you. Forget what people think of you and just worry about you. Because at the end of the day, when you find yourself or when you know yourself, nobody can't tell you nothing. Nobody will be able to tell you anything. I just like to put this lighter one on top and put the dark one at the bottom. Oh, that's too much. I just blend this out here. Once those insecurities are gone, those things that you let people, you know, tell you or whatever define you as, once those are gone, it'll kind of give you a boost of confidence. Like things that you should stop doing that tear down confidence would be self-doubt 
when it comes to self doubt, you're tearing down your confidence because you're telling your you're treating yourself like you're nothing. Like you're telling yourself you're not this. I can't do this. I won't. I, you know all of those lies, which is untrue. How do you know you can't do it if you don't challenge yourself? Stop self doubting who you are. Stop telling yourself you can't. Stop telling yourself. You're not this, you're not that. You are made fearfully and wonderfully. So I feel like um, you should be just proud of who you are. You're made exactly. Another thing is comparing. Comparing just really have you looking at what everybody else is doing what everybody else has and everything like that and it kind of make you feel a little bit less of yourself because you don't have that comparing can tear down your confidence also because you're just putting yourself in a position to want what everybody else wants and if you don't have it you can kind of get discouraged with yourself you can just begin to not like yourself because you don't feel like you look like this or you don't feel like you have this or whatnot so i haven't even put on highlight yet and i'm glowing <laughs> it's like to put them on my high cheeks to my bones i like to put it on my also like to put it here on my nose. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. This is the final look. Hopefully you got something from this video. Hopefully I taught you something, you learned something, something grabs you from this video. If you would, just leave a comment down below if you like these type of videos. And don't forget to compliment somebody in the comments. I want everybody to become a one as a family. Leave down in the comments how you build confidence or how you built confidence or how you keep confidence within yourself if you haven't already go ahead and like this video also subscribe thank you for watching i appreciate it i love it thank you and i'll see you next time in my next video bye guys